Thanks everybody for joining me today. Eminem Podcast, Matt Nicoletti here. We decided to change uh, things up today and we are going to do some video interviews with um, all the finalists. And today we have MPLW, Canberra Croatia, Coach Nick Brosnich, along with Captain Grace Gill. Thank you very much for joining me today, guys. So uh, let's start first and foremost with uh, yesterday's victory against Canberra Olympic 4-1. Uh, Grace, we'll start with you. How did you feel the match played out? Yeah, obviously very happy to get the result that we did uh, at the end of the 90 minutes. Uh, I think there was a few patches there where we made it difficult for ourselves and Olympics certainly don't make our, our lives easy. Um, but to put four in in a semi-final is a, a really pleasing result. Nick? Yeah, much the same, you know, uh, coming away with the, the result in semi-final is obviously the most important um, thing. There's obviously things that we need to work on this coming week, going into Belconnor next week. But overall, coming away with the 4-1 win in a, in a semi-final is a good result. And this also means you guys are nine for nine wins. I already asked you the other day, Nick, so I'll ask you, uh, Grace, how hard is it to you know win nine from nine? And especially most recently, it probably you guys have been in your best form. Yeah, I think so. I think that's um, probably the most important part there that you've touched on and that we're coming into good form now. Um, early on in the season, we had some, um, I guess, less than ideal performances, but we're still still able to hold on to the three points. So to be able to grow each week um, and develop into week nine, nine from nine, um, is a really pleasing point to be. Um, as Nick just mentioned, there's still stuff that we can improve on and, and get better at. So that's really promising going into a grand final. And I think we're, I think we're hitting our stride at the most important point, point of the season. And uh, you mentioned there how um, at the start of the season you guys said that you um, uh, didn't play the best uh, to your ability and it seems to be a common theme whenever I'm talking to people from Canberra, Croatia. So you guys must hold yourselves in the, uh, the highest of standards and this is also goes for the MPL1 because everyone said, oh, we haven't played our best and you guys were still like winning every game and doing really well. So what is that next level? Have you guys sort of reached that, Nick, or...? Um, look, we're, we're getting better week in, week out, and that's something that I've stressed to the girls is the most important thing this season is to improve week in, week out. Obviously, I hold really high expectations of the squad as a whole and, and each of individual player. Um, I know what they can do individually, and I know what we're capable of as, as a squad. So I guess that's where the... Um, I guess, as you said, you know, we sort of come out of each game even though we're winning, saying that we can improve each week and I guess just from we know what we can do and, and we know what our standards are and, and we're not quite there yet, um, but we're getting there. And uh, to you, Grace, I, I saw in um, one of Jeremy's articles, Jeremy McGann from Capital Football, that uh, you, you stated that you guys don't want to sort of focus on you know individual talents and you said anyone can really you know uh, make a game for you guys. Can you just expand a little bit on that? Yeah, sure. I think... Um, I think in reference to that article, what I was talking to Jeremy about was in particular that we don't have sort of one marquee goal scorer that's doing all the work for us this season and that's a really um, strong position to be in as a squad. Um, it's really hard to defend against as an opposition. So the fact that we've got multiple goal scorers scoring multiple goals um, is a really advantageous position to be going into a grand final. And you guys finished uh, top of the ladder uh, this season though. What would you, how would you reflect on how the MPLW has been this season? We'll start with you, Grace. Yeah, I think as a whole, it's um, it, while it has been a condensed season, it's been a better season. Um, I think we've seen the level pan out a little bit across the teams and um, up until the last couple of weeks of the competition, there was some contention around sort of third, fourth, fifth position. And that's something that this, um, this competition hasn't seen for a number of years now. And I think even um, at the other end of the ladder, you look at teams like Wagga City Wanderers and you see the work that they've done in that program. And that's incredibly impressive to improve where they have from last year to this time this year. Um, and they've got a couple of really well-deserved results in the last couple of rounds of this competition. And you, Nick, uh, in terms of how the MPLW has been this season from a coach's point of view? Yeah, look, it's definitely been a, a huge improvement from, from seasons that, seasons in the past. Um, as Grace just said, top to bottom, it's been a stronger competition and, and we've sort of found um, ourselves in difficult games against um, some of the bottom sides um, and that's a, a credit to them and what they've done as coaching staff and as a squad. Um, and those clubs also have a, a really good youth program coming through, so the future of the competition is, is looking really strong as well, top to bottom. And the final is confirmed, you guys versus Belcon United once again. I believe I've been told it's the sixth final in a row. You guys won it in 2017. It's been mostly Belco since. So first and foremost, what are your thoughts on uh, playing Belcon this year? 
Well, I think you just mentioned it there. They're such a formidable side and for them to be in a grand final for I think it's the last 10 years, um, it just speaks to their strength and their experience. Um, going into Belconnen this weekend, we know how they are experienced as a squad, but also individually they've got players who have been at every single one of those 10 finals. So um, we're under sort of no question about how difficult a task at hand it is um, and we always know up against Belconnen it's going to be a really tough game. And from a coach's point of view, Nick, how hard is it to come up against Belconnen? You guys got the win 1-0. Uh, during the season. Is it a different Belconnen uh, around finals time, you feel, after your years of coaching? Yeah, absolutely. And, and it doesn't matter who you come up against in a grand final, it's always going to be very different to a regular season game. You know, everything's 10 15% tougher, harder, more intense come, come a grand final. Um, and I think we spoke last week about Belconnen. You know, they had, they had a little bit of a, a patchy end to the season, but the amount of experience they have in, the, in their squad means that once it comes to finals football, they know what the deal is. They, they'll come out strong. They'll they're going to be a different side to when we play them for the, for the first time, for sure. And uh, on the field, Grace, how is it? Um, how what is it like the the rivalry with um, Belcon United, considering you guys are always usually in that uh, you know top echelon for the last couple of years. Uh, the rivalry is always really rich. Um, we know the girls and the quality that we're going to be coming up against, and that's been no different over the last few years. I think it's something that we're all really uh, aware of, really mindful of. Um, I think reflecting on the last on the last se- on this season. Um, it's, it's probably a different sort of team that we're facing up against in terms of both our squad and their squad. Um, they've got the quality still out there, but I think our seasons have been different seasons. Um, we've had a different performance this year. Um, we've never gone sort of nine and over four, which is something that really weighs in our favour. Um, and Belcon and like Nick has just mentioned, have had a couple of um, a couple of patches in their season that for them are uncharacteristic. So I think it's a really, really different season compared to the other last sort of six grand finals we've come up against them. But um, as I said, uh, we, we know how tight they're going to be on Saturday. And uh, what is your gonna, uh, approach going to be to the game, Nick? Yeah, look, we won't approach this game any different to, to what we have every game throughout the season so far. Um, we prepare ourselves um, consistently and we'll do the same thing. We'll, we'll go back, we'll review footage of their game um, on Saturday against Gungahlin. Um We'll try and try and establish a, a game plan and how we're going to come out against them. But in terms of preparation, uh, it's going to be no different. We'll, we'll approach it it's the same way we have each week. And for those who are watching, who will most likely watch it on Bar TV Sports due to the um, COVID restrictions at the moment, uh, what do you? Is there anything uh, uh, you'd like to say to them in terms of uh, what they should expect this weekend besides uh, Nick's trademark uh, pull up, uh, pull up pants uh, deal that he has going over there? In terms of expect from yeah, us, what do you say from the game? Look, as I mentioned, I think we, we always know Belcon and a really tough, really physical side. Um, I know that they're the type of team that um, they don't sort of drop their heads at 45 minutes or 70 minutes. I know that they've got 90 plus minutes in them. Um, hopefully it's something that we can just deal with in 90 minutes, but um, just given the experience that that, that group of girls have, um, we can't afford lapses in concentration against them. Um, otherwise they will punish us uh, and we're really, really aware of that. Um, but in terms of what we can expect from the weekend, I think just a really tough physical game and I think it's two really well-deserved teams to be in a grand final. Yeah, much the same. You know, as, as Grace just said, there's a lot of experience in that squad, but there's a lot of experience, experience in both squads that are going to be out there, out there on the weekend and it's going to be a physical, tough battle as it always is. Um, it won't be, I don't think it'll be a runaway winner either way. I think it's going to be a close, um, tightly contested uh, match of football and probably a great one for, for the mutual spectator. Um, probably not a great one for, for our hearts, but um, yeah, hopefully at the end of the day we come away with, with the win. Um, I cap off a really good season for us. All right. Thank you very much, Grace and Nick, for joining me today. That was uh, Grace Gill and Nick Brosnich from Canberra, Croatia. Look forward to the final this weekend, Saturday, 3 p.m. here at Deakin Stadium, live on Bar TV Sport.